Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to new video for Unite Industry here. Uh, in today's video, I got from a military junkyard, I got uh, one uh, little battery. Uh, this is from some military device uh, battery, similar like a car battery, just uh, smaller. This is the old battery, so uh, it's not work anymore. Uh, it's be a safe uh, with uh, some uh, safety measure uh, to open that. Uh, there is a two type of this battery. There is a nickel cadmium battery and there is a silver zinc battery. So just for uh, some fun, I will open that to see what we can find inside. For this. Of course, I will need safety equipment. I need uh, glasses and I need uh, gloves. I use that gloves a lot, so you see it's very dirty, but it's safe. Okay, so let's put the glass on. The gloves on. So for the first, see it is in a metal box, it's already corroded there, but for now I will just remove the screws on the beginning. Okay, we got some acid leak. So I will use this. Even if it's lead inside, that is a good. Okay. So what I'm going to need next, I will just wash that with water a couple of times. Very good, then I will open that, okay? Take another one. I washed that a couple of times with water, so right now it's time to open that. Okay, I just hit that with a sharp tool. Because I need to open that, I will hit that again. Okay guys, see that? Nothing like a clean force. So we are removed top. It's just scrap metal, some rubber, and let's see inside. It's actually... I don't see anything valuable here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna cut that here right now. Sorry because I'm not shot 
with the camera any heat but uh, I work alone and it's hard when you work alone it's very hard to make very good videos okay so finally we we'll remove that from the case see that still have some dirty water this is a steel box I'm gonna remove that let's go to scrap scrap steel here too some screws and this is a scrap plastic okay so we have here some isolation some plastic rubbish let's see what we have here we got cell okay so once again I go to wash that and we will see what we have here okay okay guys so I washed that a couple of times this is anode and cathode from the battery one have a four cell the other free it's a different material and uh, this some kind of isolation there is uh, between the cell so let's actually see what is what material yeah Here is oxide 2. See that? All the material is oxide. Only this part here outside is a solid metal, but inside everything is oxide. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add a couple of pieces from this in the hydrochloric acid to see how it's react, okay? I will add a clean beaker for this. Okay. Okay, let's add. Yeah, see the reaction? It's very strong. Oh, this is definitely a zinc. Yeah, you see that? See reaction, this is the zinc. And go and go and go. The reaction go on and go on. there so this definitely this free cell it's a zinc so I got some reaction, but small reaction, not too much. Let's try with a bigger piece.
and this four supposed to be mix some zinc and uh, silver oxide so what I'm gonna do I will crash that four piece and I will add it to hydrochloric acid so hydrochloric acid should remove all the dirtiness and leave only that sediment which I can melt to get pure silver okay so let's do that and look at that this stuff still react so this this free is a zinc definitely and this four is a silver not pure silver but silver Okay guys, so like you see I add that four pieces, I cut that in small parts and I add that in the jar with the hydrochloric acid. This is a concentrate hydrochloric acid and the solution is green because some other stuff, it's almost a day, one day stay in this jar. Solution is green because the other metal which is present in the that cell but look at that all that stuff which is float all that shiny metal particles it's silver yeah look at that very very nice look at that silver so silver is not dissolved in the hydrochloric acid So what I'm gonna do next is uh, I'm gonna filter that, still I have that nickel parts, you see that, this all now it's uh, clean nickel parts, it's magnetic, I tried that with the neodymium magnet and the ma magnet is uh, catch these parts, so we're gonna filter that, collect all that silver oxide and uh, wash that couple of times with water. We're gonna melt that dirty silver, okay? Let's go. Okay guys, so the solution is still filter. See on the top. 
and uh, here I have that uh, skin from the cell it's a clean and the hydrochloric acid everything from inside just go out so this is just a metal and uh, nothing else is just a normal metal here I have niodimi niodymium magnet from hard drive and if you see it's very very magnetic yeah look at that it's very magnetic so this go in the scrap metal pile and for this for this free I just keep that because inside I have a pure zinc oxide zinc powder so look very nice so I'm gonna leave that just for some case if I can use for something okay okay guys so filtration is almost over right now I wash that uh, sediment with the uh, clean water see down there it's a clean water so and this is the first solution look how it's green so a lot of metal which have chloric acid dissolve and leave only silver only silver oxide which I right now wash and I'm gonna melt that I'm gonna dry that filter and I'm gonna melt that to get unpure silver button okay so we finish our job after melting step here is the result of uh, this my uh, experiment from this uh, battery uh, silver zinc battery so uh, what I do I just uh, melt that silver and I pour that in the water I make some very nice silver shots because I uh, want to refine that silver again I think it's not pure or maybe I will just sell that with uh, my other silver shots okay and uh, if you see it look very nice I clean that with the boil water so right now we will see how much silver I had from uh, that, that one battery okay let's put that on the scale zero okay let's see twenty two point nine almost twenty three gram silver from only one battery it's not bad it's not too much profitable with this uh, silver price but uh, it's not bad I only use uh, to get this silver I only use uh, hyaluronic acid and uh, that is not 
too much expensive okay so see that very very nice silver shots very clean too okay guys so uh, I hope you like this little experiment uh, once again this is a military battery from some military device and uh, this is all the Yugoslavia manufacturing so uh, this battery is actually a uh, zinc uh, silver uh, there is uh, other like uh, nickel cadmium or some different some lithium but this is a uh, zinc silver once again I hope you like this experiment and uh, I will see you soon in some next video uh, until then subscribe have fun may gold friend out cheers